Francisco. You're a JetSat man. And I want to start with the fact that you have scaled. You've got headquarters in Berlin. You've got them in San Francisco. How is the U.S. business going? Uh, so it's going really well. So um, if you look at our business, we started in the U.K. in 2010. Um, and we launched in the U.S. in um, 2013. Um, we've been really pleased with the progress and actually around 30% of our business um, globally now is actually um, comes from overseas markets so not from the UK and those are growing um, at a much faster rate than the UK so we've been really pleased with the progress today um, and we, we subsequently entered actually Germany and the Netherlands as well so we, we'd like to keep adding more and more international markets over time. So that's Europe done. You've got US on the agenda. What about Asia? Would you look to move further abroad because the Revolut's eyeing up Asia? Well, I mean, I think uh, we're not quite done with Europe yet. Um, you know, I think we're, we're in um, three markets. Um, you know, as you know, there are, there are many more that, that we'd like to go to. But, um, but, but what we found with our business model is it, it, it does work regardless of the market. Um, you know, we want Funding Circle to be the first choice for small businesses globally, um, wherever they are, when they want to access finance to expand and grow. Um, and so, you know, I think, I think we've got a little bit more work to do in, in Europe um, before we start looking uh, to other markets. How has, of course, the ever ongoing Brexit debate affected you? Has it affected lending on Funding Circle? Has it affected the investor base or the businesses looking for small loans or has it not as yet? Um, so obviously when, when Brexit happened, uh, we, were, we were concerned, uh, to put it mildly. Um, you know, it was a big dislocation event. We didn't really know how people would react. Uh, what we came out and said um, to our small business customers in the wider market was like, look, we're very much open for business. You know, we started Funding Circle at the, uh, just after one of the biggest financial crises there were because we felt there, was, there needed to be an alternative way of getting money to small businesses. And actually what we've seen since Brexit is uh, businesses boomed. So um, Funding Circle um, originated record amounts of, of loans. Actually in the first six months of the year, um, Funding Circle did nearly as much net new lending in the UK um, as the entire banking system combined. So what you're starting to see, I think, is it, all, even in times of stress, um, actually this, this model can really provide a, a viable alternative. So um, far from being the, the kind of event that, that we were worried about, it actually provided um, a, a great opportunity for the business.